we are so different. Mm -hmm. Like, how are we so different? And how did we even end up together in the first exactly. place? <laughs> so, what exactly. would you say is the reason we ended up together in the first place? Um, convenience. What kind of convenience? Explain yourself. Well, didn't you say that you needed a husband? <laughs> So what about him? He needed a wife, and, and uh, obviously he couldn't do anything else. <laughs> Hey guys, so before you continue watching the video, I wanted to let you guys know, okay, um, first of all, this video was very unplanned, it was very impromptu, which is why it has no introduction or anything, I was just climbing and thought of asking them a few questions, but here's the thing, right, this video has one of the most informative things i've ever kind of like conversations i've ever discussed with anybody and it was quite hilarious and funny and fun and honestly what i know now i wish i had actually sat down with nena and created like a video like this for you guys but then it's not going to be real and authentic or i'm just saying okay but i wanted to kind of like say this so that you guys would take your time to actually watch this video and enjoy every bit of the every bit of it because as i'm editing it right now it's like oh my god i wish i had sat down to actually like talk about this okay with her like on a video like this because we do that every time she comes around but maybe one of these days we're gonna sit down and you know have proper conversation even if it's not with her it could be with somebody else okay but um let me know what you think in the comment section but before you start okay quick question let me know in the comment section do you actually believe in zodiac signs do you believe that zodiac signs um somebody's zodiac sign is a factor um to is a factor kind of like how do i put it do you believe that um when getting married okay knowing your partner's zodiac sign is a criteria for a good and lasting relationship okay because as you will get to hear in the video and i'm not trying to spoil it for you okay I am so different from my husband and just like Nena is so different from my sister. But let me not spoil the video for you. Um, watch it. Let me know what you think. But answer the question in the comment. Do you actually think that having um is a is it polar opposite zodiac sign has anything to do with how your relationship or your marriage um works and how it's going to last? Okay, let me know in the comment section. I'm so excited for you guys to see this video. So yeah, let's <laughs> Started. Um, yeah, hi, you guys. Nena came to visit. Nena said hi. Hi, Nena came to visit. So, Nena, I'm gonna, um, so let me flip this so I can ask you a few questions while okay. we walk. Okay, okay. So, first of all, you guys, Nena is going to New York. Yes, yes. Going to New York. <laughs> she's going to go to graduate school, right? Yes, I'm going to grad school again. But do you realize that this might be the last time we'll see you for the next seven years? <laughs> For the next Possibly. seven years, for real though. Possibly. For the next seven years, we won't be able to see Nana. I said she'll come to New York. Yeah? Yeah. I will go visit her. Maybe I might her. have a vacation with you. Yeah. You're going to have a vacation. Like, are you going to work the whole of summer? Um, I don't know. I don't uh -huh. know yet. Okay. So, yeah, Nana came yesterday. She'll probably be leaving tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm taking her to go show her Sierra Nevada. I don't even pronounce it very well. So this is called Sierra Nevada, like where you're at, where yeah, we're here. Yeah, like where we are going to go see now is called Sierra Nevada. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about it. Was that told me about it? She said she said she read it in her book, ah. and then she was like, "Do you know that we have Sierra Nevada right here?" I was like, "Which is Sierra Nevada?" Oh, okay, so yeah. she found this place. She read about it and then told us about it and then we walked to come and see. Ah, okay. Yeah. Prior to that, we just knew oh there was a mountain here. We didn't know there was something to see down there. Ah, okay. That's yeah. Nice. It's nice having a smart daughter. See, I'm wearing high heels. This is not <laughs> meant for high heels. Of course not. <laughs> but then also your question. So you're going on yeah. scholarship, right? Uh yes. It's um for doctoral programs, they're called fellowships, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not paying for it. Anything, not even a dime. And this is not the first or second scholarship you're getting. Like. <laughs> it's my first fellowship, but not my first scholarship. scholarship. She has gone to like school nonstop with um, scholarships, nonstop. Yes. Okay. And there was a time you were helping people with scholarship, right? Yes. yes you yes, still yes, doing yes. that? Mm -mm. Oh. Not as much. You know, I get a lot of questions from people asking me um, from Facebook if I know how to get scholarships to come to the United States to come and go to school free of charge is that possible though i mean it's a possible yeah people from outside of nigeria outside of america do you don't touch anything 
Come out of that place. Well, she knows not to touch her, right? She knows not to touch her. <laughs> that is the thing. You don't know until they go and touch it. Uh, at least let them learn through experience. Because After if they, they touch it one then, time, it will shock her. Uh, if one time, <laughs> then it'll, <laughs> it'll hurt. It's not. It's not electricity. It'll. It's barbed wires. Yeah. So she'll bleed, but she'll never make that mistake again. Oh, uh, that's true. You know what I mean? All she has to do, and even with Zen Zen, uh, one time. Uh, <laughs> she's not that <laughs> <laughs> One time, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then she'll never do it again. She'll listen to you. Oh. You know, yeah. it's kind of like touching a hot stove. All you need to do is touch it once. Mm. Experience is the best teacher, right? Right. Especially if you're not going to listen. If I tell you that this will hurt and you don't listen to me and then you touch it and it hurts, okay then. <laughs> Next time you listen. No. But that would be like me taking her to the Madden school. I'll have to pay for it, girl. Well, yeah, you're her mom, though. <laughs> Whether you go to the emergency room or oh, go no. to the grocery store, you have to pay. I have to pay. Yeah. yeah. But what do you think of this place? It's nice. I like it. It's, it's, it's very, like, calm. Yeah, very you can calming. come here and read your book. Right. Yeah. yeah. You can go for a walk. Mm -hmm. It's very I like it. Yeah. You know, the thing I like about you is that you're brave. <laughs> but in case anything happens, better save me. Oh. <laughs> sure, better save me. Practical. I'm practical. Yeah. Not the only practical. Oh, where were you born again? November? Yeah, no, what's your sign? Oh, I'm a Sagittarius. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? No wonder you and your uncle are so much alike. <laughs> oh my, you know that, right? Uncle's a Sagittarius. Yes. Yeah. Holy moly. Both yeah. of you are just the same thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zendia, come back here. Come back. Come here, also. <laughs> But like, do you believe in the sign thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astrology. You... I've been getting more into astrology in the past, I mm -hmm. want to say, six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been drawn to it. I've been, I've been learning more about it. I'm not an expert. By no, any don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. Of the imagination. But yeah. I've been um, learning more about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool. I started cool. learning about it last year, November. Probably with Emma, right? No, before I, I learned it by myself, and then I told ah. her about it early this year, and ah. she has been obsessed with it. Ah. <laughs> Both hands, Zuri. So this morning they will start looking up. Oh, I will, so I think Emma is Libra. Mm -hmm. Hello, Emma is Libra and Zuri is her. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. Do you want Zuri again? I think they're puppeteers. These are puppeteers. Emma was telling me about their signs yesterday when we went walking. Mm. Um, she said one is Taurus, one is Pisces. Mm. Dia is Pisces. One is uh, wait, Taurus, Pisces, Libra. Yeah, Emma is Libra. I think Zuri is. Um, um, what's the other one you said? Taurus. Taurus, yes. Zuri is Taurus. And then Zendaya is January. I forgot what Zendaya is. Yeah, but mine is Vigo. Virgo. Yes. Say it again. Oh, Virgo. Virgo. V I R G O. Is it not Vigo? No. Virgo. Uh, My okay. Also a Virgo. Your sister, yeah, we're, yeah, we're born on the same day. You same forgot day. September yeah. 16th. So, yeah. what is it like? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, let me play. Why do you want us to go back? Zenza, give me your hand. So, Zenza, give me your hand. So, I mean, do you want to hold I, my hand? Hold on, Zenza, that's him. Do you want to? You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. She wants you to carry her. Now, Zendaya will want me to carry I'm not carrying her with this high heel. No. Okay. No, so, Zendaya doesn't get what she wants all the time. <laughs> See her face. See, see how she's looking at you. <laughs> So let me ask you, right? As a Virgo married to a Sagittarius, mm -hmm. is kind of hard. It sounds like a hot mess. It's a hot mess. <laughs> it's a hot mess. So what was your relationship with your sister growing up? Volatile. Volatile. How? Explain. Um. First of all, Obi's my best friend. Okay. I love her. Okay. She's my sister. Okay. Sisters forever. Only sister. Okay, not only sister, but only sister. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's just that. We're incompatible in every single way. <laughs> we are incompatible in every single way and then some. Okay. It's exhausting. Right. And it took us years to figure out how... Don't leave, leave her leg alone. This is tough. This leave is tough. Leave her leg alone. This is tough. Okay. Um, it took us years to figure out how we communicate with one another. Okay. And how, like what each other's tendencies are mm -hmm. and how to respect each other's tendencies and boundaries and mm -hmm. all of that it took years honestly but before a lot then, of arguing before then a lot of arguing a lot of arguing a lot of fighting a lot of miscommunication right just a lot 
<laughs> so when you look at the relationship I have with my husband from outside as uh -huh. a viewer, what is your perspective? Like, what what do you look at? Like, what goes on in your head? Um, none of my business. <laughs> she said none of my business. Okay, okay. I know it's none of your business, yeah. but, but like, um, knowing that okay, my husband is Sagittarius and right. I'm Virgo. What is, right. what was the first thing that comes to your head? Um, uncle. Uh. He. In order to get uncle upset, you have to do something very, very dramatic. Like it have to be, it has to be something serious oh. for him to be upset and angry. Otherwise, he's chill, very relaxed, oh. very go with the flow. Oh. I'm just talking about myself at this point. You're talking about yourself, yeah. but you know you guys know can be uncle... very critical, right? Right, 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 right. Like we and be and they call it being practical, <laughs> and it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> it pisses me off. Allow me to die in my delusion, okay? <laughs> Let me I love it to die in my delusion. But yeah, when I found out he was Sagittarius, like it was our relationship, right? And I was like, okay, a lot of things. Okay, we just got um, our 11 years wedding anniversary was two days ago. Right. On the 25th. And as somebody who has married for 11 years, you, you're like, a lot of things. You keep asking yourself, why does this happen? And right. as a Virgo, I'm always asking why. Yeah. Why is this happening? Why is this so happening? Why is this so happening? Mm -hmm. Until I decided to go look it up. Right. And then I realized we are so different. Mm -hmm. Like, how are we so different? And how did we even end up together in the first exactly. place? <laughs> so, what exactly. would you say is the reason we ended up together in the first place? Um, convenience. What kind of convenience? Explain yourself. Well, didn't you say that you needed a husband? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about him? He needed a wife. And, and, uh, obviously, he couldn't do anything else. Uh, <laughs> So he couldn't just marry any other person. Well, apparently. Oh, so is that what happened? Uh, well, kinda. Okay, I'm getting too hot on this walk. Yeah, How far are we gonna out. go? I don't know. It's getting hot and lonely. They should not kidnap us. Lonely. So. lonely. We're here. We're here, it's but like it's just all four of us. Yeah. It's fine. And nobody knows where we are. Okay. That, everyone knows where we are. You have your phone. <laughs> True. Yeah. If you want to turn around, we can. Yeah, let's go back. My shoe is going to hurt. By the time we get over there and then start walking back, it's going to hurt. Okay. Yeah. I have my sneakers in the car, though, but. I you didn't bring to... your sneakers? No. Because and, you, I... and you're the one who has been here before. No, no, no. I thought we are just going to look at it from there and then come back. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know we were going to walk down or anything. So, yeah. But well, my sneakers, I always have it in the car just for emergency. Mm -hmm. But I wore sleepers today because of we're going to go get our, our nails done. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So back to what we're saying, right? Yes. Um, if you're going to get when you when you're ready to get married, yeah. Would you be considering um, um zodiac sign as one of the things to look into? I mean, obviously, it's it's in it's information. Okay. It's information I can use to make an informed decision. Okay. But I'm not going to say no. I won't marry this person because of X Y Z sign. Yeah. Or A B C sign. Yeah. yeah. It's not it's not a deal breaker. It's just knowledge mm -hmm. that I can use to make an informed decision, so I can know more about the person. Yeah. Yeah. And now that you you've lived with somebody like your sister, mm -hmm. who is a Virgo, at least it has given you a perspective on how to work with you if you end up marrying somebody who is Virgo, right? Right, right. So, hopefully it doesn't happen, but yeah. <laughs> Why did you say hopefully it doesn't happen? I love my sister. Okay. And we belong together. Okay. It is exhausting. <laughs> it's so much work. And the good thing is that both of you get to live apart, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if both of you were to live in the same, like, live together forever. Oh, that would be great. I'd love that. Like, what would the relationship be like? I would love that. It would, would be great. Would they still be arguing and fighting? I mean, we're sisters, of course. Oh. No, of course, they'll be arguing. Of course, they'll be fighting. There's just different types of arguments. Mm. The, way we've, the way we argue, the way we disagree has evolved over time. Okay. Because we're no longer 12. But... Mm. You know, there'll still be, like, yeah. there's still a healthy relationship. There'll still be disagreements. It's just going to be different. Yeah, it's going to be fun too. Because mm. we're still sisters and we still love each other. Yeah, we just have to figure out. I mean, not figure out, but still build. Like, there, we have different communication styles, and I need to be cognizant of what she needs, mm -hmm. and she's cognizant of my needs. Yes. And we extend grace to each other. True. I think that that's what has been helping us as well because, after, like I said, this is something that uh, we have been struggling with. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't use the word mommy, struggle. Let me get that, uh, do you get that? She's heavy. Oh no, she's not heavy. I just need to. This is falling. Okay. She's not 
that. Mommy, take Let her walk, like you can carry this and there. Oh, okay. You mommy, can you hold her so much? Mommy, can you hold this for you? No, she has carried you a little bit. Let her carry some there a little bit. This is a piggy bag. There you go. Say thank you. Yeah. Say thank you. Good. Neither one of the kids are happy. It's just that my jacket was falling. Okay. So, as I was saying, right, as a Vigo married to a Sagittarius, at first it was more of. At first it was okay, and then say, later it was like, oh my god, this is exhausting. Right. And then I started to ask why. Everything I was asking, why this? Why is this happening? Why is this like this? Why? Until I realized, oh, I'm Virgo. I didn't even know what Virgo was until last year, mm -hmm. November. I'm like, oh my god, this is who I am. And then, no, I knew what Virgo was. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've heard of this zodiac sign, just I've never paid attention to it. Right. I started paying attention to it in November of last year, right? right? November of last year was, was when I started paying attention to it, and then I wrote down all the zodiac signs for like me, my husband, our kids, and that was when I started learning okay this person is different this person is different right and different communication. different communication i have to, i had to learn how to communicate with each person separately right yep. but still at that it's different when you're dealing with kids versus when you're dealing with your husband right you understand so it's like it's a huge mess yeah. but at some point i had to learn how to deal with it yeah. do you understand because i know i as a virgo i know is i would not use the word i'm not like the perfect type you know how right. they have the perfectionist i'm not a a perfectionist virgo it's more of i want things to just be the way it is just my, my i think my problem is more of like i have issues with uncertainty yeah. it messes me up a whole lot right yeah. Yeah, yeah. but my husband is like i don't know we'll figure it out along exactly. the way no exactly. i want to know exactly. right no. now <laughs> you, you plan every detail i want to plan. know I, like i want to plan my five years yeah. like I, I literally take paper and pen and i write down yeah. every single thing step by step right. how it's gonna happen but yeah. he's like no we'll figure it out along the way i'm like no yeah. it's gonna mess with my head and you know at first when we first oh. came to this country he used to say i have an ocd right, right. <laughs> but i don't have ocd it's more of i just want to know because i hate uncertainty and i think yeah. that was one of the biggest problem that we encounter as a couple he wants to just deal with it later but i want to deal with it right now yeah, yeah. the version of yourself now may not be equipped to deal with the problems that you're facing so it's it, it's kind of um it's not a it's not a good use of time and energy to deal with that problem so until it's time to deal with that problem like don't get me wrong there is yeah. there is a level of preparation you can do mm -hmm. kind of like buying a house mm -hmm. there is a level of preparation you can do now mm -hmm. right regardless of when or how or what house you buy yeah. there are things you can do now mm -hmm. improve your credit score okay get pre-approved mm -hmm. save money mm -hmm. like you don't have to wait five years in order for me to tell you that mm -hmm. but if you know that you're not going to buy a house for another two years mm -hmm. then why are you stressing yourself out about the neighborhood <laughs> you see what i'm saying yes like you it's not it's not a problem you can really fix right now but what you can fix is your credit score you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah that so makes like, sense to an extent Dio, get out of the way to an extent there are things you can do mm -hmm. when it comes to preparation that makes sense okay and you should do them okay like, if you know you if you know you're gonna do your taxes in april why are you waiting until march 31st okay. you see what i'm saying that's yeah. thing. but there are other things there are other problems that you genuinely cannot address mm. until the time comes okay so, so you have to wait so let me ask you this question, right? Mm -hmm. Your sister being a Virgo, right? Does she ever have issues with you? Like you, yes. are, you're very honest, yes. blunt. Yes. You say it as it is. You don't sugarcoat anything. Yes. And I see you. You are like that with me, and you're like <laughs> you're like that with my kids as well. And I don't have a problem with it because it's not the first time I'm hearing words like that. <laughs> I hear it on a daily basis, right? Now what is your sister's reaction when she t when you just tell her something boo, 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 boo. like my biggest problem with my husband is i'm i'm not worried about what she said it's how you say it do you understand just sugar cut it a little bit okay i know like just say it in a way that it will sound a little bit better okay but he's like why do i have to lie to you is the truth and nothing but the truth if you don't like it deal with it yeah. what, what was your sister's reaction when you talk like that um i mean there's no reaction anymore because we've been sisters forever so okay. she's used to it. Okay. Um, if anything, if anything, my sister is stone cold and I'm the softy. Really? Mm -hmm. Like this? 
Like I am. <laughs> <laughs> like this, you're the softy. Was my sister a big softy? No, no, you made your father run up the mountain and come down, exactly. and you call yourself a softy. Yeah, yes, so what will listen what do? I do it for love. No. Oh, Obi is a thug. <laughs> Of me. He's afraid of Obi. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Obi's scary. Oh. So do I look scary though? No. But I'm I'm also I'm tough too. Sure. Also. Sure. In your you, own way. you don't believe me? No. Oh my God. Wait. I need to toughen up. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure you're aggressive in your own way when need to be. Oh, mm, hold it. You will not die, do you? Uh -uh. Is it too hot, mommy? No, it's not. Give me. She just doesn't want to hold anything. This one does not like to do anything. But when you first saw me, what was your first um uh was it perception of me? What was the first I came to your mind? Mm, was it, uh, when was that? In Texas. I think you and your dad at church. Ah yeah. yes, yes. At yes, church. Yes. And then later you guys home. came to our house. Ah yes. Yeah. Yes, when we first I remember when Daddy said uh, Uncle Adonaka will be there. It's like, oh okay. Uh, He's like, he'll be there with his kids, and we're like, we're with what? <laughs> Children. What children? That old man. <laughs> There's no way he has kids. Uh -huh. And then we saw him, and I was, and Obi and I were freaking out like, that's <laughs> uncle. He has kids. <laughs> and then I was carrying Dior. No, was it Dior? Yeah, yeah. I was holding. She was. She was really small. Like a baby, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Um, Zendaya wasn't born yet. Okay. Yes. But um, I we went to go sit with you. I was oh. holding Dior. I was like, oh, I was so excited. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. So I was like, wow. Um, I was more shocked about Uncle, that mm. old man. Mm. And then with you and the kids, she's like, oh, she's bubbly. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Who said I was bubbly? Me. Okay. <laughs> bubbly. You seem nice. Uh. Yeah, you seem nice. Uh. There's no reason for us not to like you. Oh. But when you found out I was Virgo, Uncle? I didn't know you were Virgo until... What? Oh, until I think oh. it was the last time we met her. You said Obi's. I thought that was my yeah. birthday. Yeah, yeah. So my thirtieth birthday. I guess by then, I guess I knew implicitly, mm -hmm. but I didn't think too much of it. Okay. Because you know. But you know your uncle is very uh, Sagittarius. Well, I did not know until now. You didn't know until now. You didn't see any similarities between both of you. I mean, I know I like him. <laughs> Maybe that's why people don't get along. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know you, like, I didn't think, I know your birthday is like ending of November, uh -huh. but it didn't occur to me that both of you are Sagittarius. But I know you're blunt. I know you just hit it on the head. And I, I'm, because I already deal with that on a daily basis, I don't see it as anything. You understand? But now. I don't now, see myself as blunt. Huh? I don't even see myself as blunt. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you people a story. These two people. These two people went to the, um, what is it called? Not just both of them, right? But they went to the park yesterday. What, tell them what happened at the park yesterday. Dior, yeah. my baby. <laughs> my baby. So, okay. um, there was this water fountain at the park, a public water fountain. Yes. And they were playing with it. Mm. And Zen Zen was, look, she looked like she was about to drink it. Mm. And I drink the water. And I said, absolutely not. Don't drink that. Mm -hmm. And then Dior was like, no, don't drink that. That's what white people do. <laughs> Correct. Okay. That's and correct. we were telling her that no, Dio was not supposed to say that's what white people do. And she said, but it's the fact. It's is it factual. true? <laughs> she made a she made an accurate observation. It's but, nothing you had to teach her. She looked around, she saw but, with her own eyes. But Nena, that's what a Sagittarius will say. Mommy? That's what people will say because you, you just hit the nail on the head. And you don't care what other people's feelings are. Because she are. knows that we don't do that in this house. She yeah. Knows, she knows but, better than but that. But do you care that the white people that may be sitting down there may be like, oh, oh my God, this lady is teaching her children how to be because racist? Because we're not... Well, well, A, no. Because if that's what they think, then their opinion is uneducated and it doesn't matter. And okay. B, those are our kids. Hold on. Um, we have to raise them. Mm. But do you believe that black people can be racist? I believe black people can be prejudiced. Racism is um, is an institution, a systematic. Mm -hmm. So if we're thinking like, okay, you, you have to ask me in mm -hmm. what capacity are you asking this question? Academically speaking, if we're talking about the institution of racism, then no. Mm -hmm. But I do believe, not I believe, I know for a fact that black people can be prejudiced. Okay. Um, but racism as an institution, mm -hmm. if you are being oppressed by an institution, you cannot be the perpetrator of your own oppression. But can black people be prejudiced? Of course. Can you give me an example? So, like, um, 
when when black or not not specifically mm. um, black immigrants mm -hmm. have a prejudice against um, some black immigrants may have a prejudice against um, Hispanic folks and I mean Hispanic as in from Mexico and the Hispanic nations not Latino mm -hmm. um, because they feel like um, they they are um, taking advantage of a situation or um, not taking advantage what's the, what's the better way to describe it mm -hmm. like like they're not honest good or they they're um, doing something they're, they're not good to work with or maybe like they have prejudice against Asian folks mm -hmm. because um, of, I don't know academic standing or something like that yeah so prejudice definitely exists yeah and I know there's prejudice in our family but mm -hmm. racism as an as a systematic structure yeah you, you can't can't be that mm -hmm. now most people don't have this conversation within an academic context so yeah. for a layman sure mommy get that yeah give me a hand yeah people always argue about it on social media whether black people can be racist or not oh yeah this is, this is, what are you doing in there come out now this is, come here what's wrong with you before you know it now she'll run away that's okay that's okay rub it on my body rub it on my body Mm-hmm. Okay. So you need to be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. now, sit down. Sit down and buckle up. Okay guys, uh if you enjoyed this video, okay. I don't know if I overhyped it for you. Hopefully I did not. Okay, meanwhile, see my dimple is my, my pimple is making me look like I have dimples. Anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and share it, like it, um, comment, let me know what is your best um what was the best thing you liked about this video or you saw in the video like i said again apologies for the wind it was so windy oh my god as i was like this i was like jesus christ we should have sat down to make this video anyways uh it is still watchable which is why i'm posting it okay you still watched it uh if you're hearing this part okay obviously um if you did enjoy this video do not forget to share it share it to your family share it to your friend Share it to your WhatsApp group, okay? <laughs> your Facebook groups. And do not forget to let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I hope this video helped you in any way. And let me know if you want me to find somebody. I have a lot of friends now, real life friends. Let me go and snatch one of them and come and sit down here in my office so we can actually discuss about Zodiac sign and its impact in relationship and marriage. Let me know if that's something you would want to see and I will go and snatch any of them, okay? <laughs> They knew what they were signing up for when they decided to be my friend. Anyways, um, I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.